I'm here to introduce you to the 3D tool. 3D stands for Do, Disseminate and Develop. So what exactly is it? It's a framework to help you reflect upon and evaluate your professional development. It's not a box ticking exercise, but a template that will help you to focus on the skills that you need to do your research, to disseminate your research and to develop your research and career. As a PhD student, you are expected to demonstrate your depth of knowledge in a specific subject, undertake independent research ethically and with integrity, use appropriate methodology, analysis and techniques, and communicate your results effectively. That's a complex range of activities, right? You'll need to develop your skills in all of these areas which is precisely why you should use the 3D Tools Common Framework, which supports all Brunel research students. The tool will help you to improve your abilities and competencies, to review your research skills, as well as your personal and professional attributes, to order your current strengths and identify the steps you can take to meet your aims with training and development opportunities. To reflect on your past experiences, your current status, and also what you want to do in the future. So how do you access the 3D tool? Go to the Brunel Graduate School website, scroll down and click on the 3D toolbox. You will find a link to download the template and also some videos about how to prepare for your 9 and 20 month reviews. As you can see on the form on the first column, you will see each skill category has subcategories and each one has some examples. These examples are not necessarily relevant to you, however, you can add as many of your own examples as you need for your own discipline and situation. So the skills you need to do your research are divided into information literacy, critical thinking skills and research management. In the middle column, you will need to write about your experiences for each of these categories, evaluate your competencies and also include relevant evidence, such as the training you have received or any practical experience that helped you to achieve the skill. You should also state what level it was, for example, undergraduate, postgraduate or professional experience. The third column is your training and development goals for this year and in the long term. It will help if you discuss this with your supervisory team. Skills to help you disseminate your research are divided into three subcategories, communication skills, engagement and impact, and teaching and learning. Once again, you will find some typical examples for each category. You can write about any previous conference or poster presentations that you are planning to attend or you have experienced and any teaching experience you might have had. Skills to help you develop your research career are divided into two subcategories, interpersonal and intrapersonal skills and career management skills. Your inter and intrapersonal skills relate to how you work and conduct yourself individually or when you're working with others. What is your level of emotional intelligence? How well you cope under pressure? Do you have leadership skills or do you enjoy being part of a team and contributing to the overall result? Once again, you need to find evidence for these competencies. Think about your career options. Where do you wish to be in 10 years time? What do you need to do from now in order to meet that goal? What sources of experience, qualifications and exposure do you need to achieve this? Start building your academic portfolio. For example, public grants, supervisory and teaching experience in order to achieve an academic career, your skills portfolio, should evidence continuing professional development and experience the field that you would like to go into after your PhD. 
Set goals for this year and for the long term. This can be reviewed as a dynamic document and you will have many opportunities to review it in consultation with your supervisory team. Brunel Graduate School has a research development program offering professional development opportunities for all PhD students and research staff. These opportunities are matched to the categories and subcategories of the 3D tool. You can access these workshops and training opportunities from the Brunel Graduate School website by clicking on Training and Development for Researchers. Search for courses in our training program. You can browse the training program by alphabetic order, by our calendar, by the Brunel 3D Researcher Development Tool or by the Researcher Development Framework. In addition, we recommend you check the Researcher Development Program Handbook, which can be found in the Brunel Graduate School website. In addition to this, there are many college and departmental conferences, training and teaching experiences available. The Professional Development Centre, Brunel Library and the Research Support and Development Office offer a range of seminars and workshops to support you. Externally, the Higher Education Academy, the Society for Research into Higher Education, Vitae and the British Library are some of the organisations you might wish to look at to attend training or seminars. If you need any further information relating to the Bruno 3D tool, please speak with your research development advisor or contact the Brunel Graduate School. So, continue to do, disseminate and develop. Thank you and good luck.